The Russian Armed Forces is counted among the top 10 most powerful military forces in the world. However, the war in Ukraine has proved to be anything but. Russia has lost countless men, machines, weapons and vehicles to the gritty Ukrainian forces. If anyone thought Russia was going to have it easy in the war, they'd probably be eating their words right now. It turns out Russia doesn't have the best arsenal against aerial attacks and it is having difficulties intercepting low-tech or suicide drones from the Ukrainian side. In this video, we take a look at how Ukraine has dominated the war and has given Russia a heavy beating. Stay tuned! This is one of the many mysteries of the war in Ukraine. Since the offensive launched by Moscow's troops on February 24, the Russian anti-aircraft defense, considered by Western military members as one of the most compact and efficient in the world, has shown an unsettling level of nervousness. Ukrainian aircraft and missiles have managed to regularly pierce the anti-access bubbles supposedly created by the Russians over their troops or military bases. On paper, the Russian army has the best arsenal against attacks from the sky. The best known systems are the S-300 and S-400, batteries of multi-layered surface-to-air missiles capable of detecting and destroying aircraft and ballistic or cruise missiles from a distance of more than 300 kilometers and up to a very high altitude. Owing to this flattering reputation, Moscow claims that the S-400 are capable of tracking several dozen targets at the same time. These systems are among the flagships of the Russian arms industry, which exports them to China as well as Turkey. In addition to the S-300 and S-400, used primarily to protect sensitive sites, logistics depots, military bases, command centers, etc. Russia has medium and low-altitude defense equipment, such as the Tor, Buck, or Pantsir missile systems. Mounted on wheels or tank treads, which are more compact and mobile, the equipment accompanies troops on the ground and protects them when the enemy backup is up close in the air. According to military experts, Russia has about 1,000 of these anti-aircraft defense systems. Despite this impressive arsenal, Ukrainian forces have managed to break through this Russian bubble time and time again, inflicting heavy damage. Now, the United States has helped Ukraine by supplying powerful weapons, which has given their air force a telling advantage. On August 19th, a senior Pentagon official confirmed what had previously only been hinted at, America is supplying Ukraine with high-speed anti-radiation missiles, or HARM. The missiles have been playing an important role in Ukraine's spectacular offensive in Kharkiv province, as well as a separate attack in the south. Launched from an aircraft, HARM homes in on and destroys air defense radar. The missiles represent a serious challenge to Russia. Even if not fired, the threat they pose can force radar operators to turn off their sets and lie low. Ukraine's air force, as a result, may not quite fly with impunity, but it has greater freedom than before. So far, the armed forces of Ukraine destroyed three Russian anti-aircraft missile systems, an ammunition dump, and an Su-25 jet in Luhansk Oblast. The feared Buk M1 anti-aircraft missile battery, members of which serve under the command of Hero of Ukraine Yaroslav Melnik, has also destroyed 28 targets, 11 combat aircraft of various types, two helicopters, two cruise missiles, and 13 UAVs. As you can guess, Ukraine is inflicting a lot of damage on Russian armed forces. Ministry of Defense News Agency released a story which tells readers about the work of the unit since the beginning of the war. Melnik's battery has repelled the enemy in Kharkiv Oblast for half a year. Sometimes anti-aircraft gunners engaged in battles with a dozen or more enemy aircraft. The battery servicemen also managed to destroy a Russian plane without firing a single missile. The story never revealed the actual time when it happened. Yaroslav Melnik himself quoted saying, We also shot down a plane without firing a single missile. We found the target and we turned on the backlight radar. At this time, radar exposure warning signals sounded in the Russists, Russian invaders, cabin. He realized that he had turned from being a hunter to being a target. This probably stunned the pilot so much, he immediately ejected. The plane crashed. This is not the only situation where the result exceeded our expectations. Once we were assigned to detect and destroy two cruise missiles fired by the enemy, our self-propelled firing system can only operate on one target at a time. So we knew that destroying even one cruise missile would be a great success. We found the target and completed a combat launch. Our anti-aircraft missile exploded in such a way that it damaged two Russian cruise missiles with its own debris. Now, Russia's enormous losses in the air have proven to be advantageous to Ukraine. 
These enormous aircraft losses also cut off the Russian ground troops from the air support required to capture and hold territory, said U.S. Air Forces in Europe and Africa Commander General James Hecker during the annual Air Force Association Conference. It remains to be seen how Ukraine can turn the tides in the war and go on the offensive against Russian aggression. What are your thoughts on the Ukrainian victories over Russian air superiority? Let us know in the comments below. That's all for this video. Hope you enjoyed watching this one. Thanks for watching.